Hello guys, uh, good morning to you and happy weekend from Ghana. It's not really a happy weekend. Yeah, I just woke up this morning. Seen a viral video on the internet from Very Dark Man concerning the little children detained in the police custody in Nigeria for over three months now. Or let me put it that way, because of uh, protest. Yeah, so this matter is very, very touching. It has really touched me so much this morning. Really, really, really painful to me. And then as a human being as and as a concerned Nigeria, and I feel like talking about this matter this morning. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I know that most of you have seen this viral video. Yes, I know. But for the benefit of those who have not seen this video, let us watch this video, then I'll come back uh, to the topic. Now this boy, 10 years old boy, right? Me and this boy this I said. Apparently, these are the boys that the Tinubu government arrested that they were flying Russian flag. All these children were still like this now, they go prison because they could not secure bail for them. They are going to the prison now, they could not secure bail for them. Now, the question is this, what does this boy know about flag? This boy does not even have a basic education, let alone knowing that he flew a flag. So you are charging all these kids for treason. Me, I just came out of, uh, I just came out of cell and I was with them, that's the craziest part. This morning I was going to pee when I woke up. I was going to pee when I saw this boy. I was like, this boy is my children. So now we came to court. They could not grant their bail. They have adjourned the case. So where are they going to sleep? They are going to sleep beside the cell again. And already they stayed for more than 90 days. Today is the 93rd day. 93 days for all the children seated everywhere. Today is the 93rd day for a bowl. This one only. Which food? This one only. Size body. And all the way from Kano, where they carry from? Yes, yes. From Kano. Yes. Brought them from Kano to Abuja. Where's their parents? Their parents now go to cry. No one. Yes. See them. All these are kids. Ten years old. How old are you? And the, the best condition. Fourteen years. One of them are less than seventeen years old. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's not fair. Come on. This is really heartbreaking. Very, very heartbreaking. Like, since I watched this video, you know, I've been thinking so many things. A lot of things have been going through my mind. Like, I begin to wonder if our government has conscience. Like, if they really have conscience, like human conscience. You know, there is something God puts in every human being, and that is conscience. Like, I wonder how somebody will be comfortable putting these little children in detention, and you are busy enjoying food and air condition and sleeping well in your house. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't really get it. Like, what is happening? Are we still, are we still human beings? Are we still human? Like, like I don't understand. Now, the first question we should ask is that, what really put these little children in the street? Do they even actually know what they are doing? Look at how they are. And nobody is talking about them. Do you now see why I always talk about this very dark man? Do you see why I always talk about him? Just for him to make this post now, the post is everywhere. It's everywhere in Ghana. Like, let me talk of Ghana where I am. Everybody is talking about it. And this children has been there for how many months? They has been there. Abandoned. And you know how Nigerian prison custody, how it looks like, or detention. Africa as a whole. Nobody cares about you. For Christ's sake. These are people's children, like your own children that is studying in abroad, like your own children that is living comfortably in a mansion, like your own children that you always cry for if something happens. These are people's children that are being kept without, oh my God. I don't know what is happening in our society today. I don't just know. Very dark man, God bless you. God will continue to bless you, if not for anything, for creating awareness to the masses what is happening in our society. Because a lot of people will see this kind of thing that they will just pass as if it doesn't concern them. That's why I love my prophet TV Joshua when he was alive. He said the pain of one is the pain of all. You should always have that feeling as a human being. What if this thing is happening to you? What if this thing is happening to you? Yes, a lot of people use internet like to cause confusion, to, to, to catch crews, to do so many things. But when we see people who are standing to use this internet to do good work, they will not be appreciated. Most people, they will not appreciate them. 
But I'm also happy that a lot of people appreciate very dark man. A lot of people appreciate him for the good work he's doing. Look at these children dying in police custody. And somebody is sleeping comfortably in his house. Even if they protest. Why do they protest? Why are they protesting? It's a very, very unfortunate situation. We are in the society where people can do a lot of things just to protect their own interests. But then, one thing is sure, no one lives in this life forever. No one lives in this life forever. We should be our brother's keeper. We should be human. So we are calling on the government to please listen to the cry of the masses because as it is now everybody is talking about this matter everybody is crying about this matter so that is how you should know that this is totally wrong what will it profit you to leave little children in detention without good care without food of course you can see the way they are looking you can see how they are looking very hungry very frustrated abandoned so we are crying out from Ghana here, pleading to the Nigerian government to please, please release these children. Let them go and continue with the hunger. So I think the best advice for we to be on the path of uh, using the internet to promote good things, you know, using the internet to educate people, to build a better society, you know, whatever you put out here, can influence somebody positively or negatively. I'm so happy that this young man, very dark man, is using his influence to affect the lives of people positively. And that's why I will always stand for him. I'll pray for him and I pray that he won't deviate from this call. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time of coming to this channel, do us a favor by subscribing to this channel. Press the notification bell so that anytime we post a video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Have a very good weekend. Bye.